Hey parents, Mr. Jim here. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to encourage learning in a way that's actually exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. I can't help but play along with my kids as we're having a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. Genius Starter Kits come with a base and reflector that fit most iPad models. Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Want to say I don't know less? Listen to Stuff You Should Know more. Join host Josh and Chuck on the podcast packed with fascinating discussions about science, history, pop culture, and more. Episodes dive into topics like, was the lost city of Atlantis real? And how does pizza work? Say goodbye to I don't know, because after listening to Stuff You Should Know, you will. Listen to Stuff You Should Know on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Our story begins underground in a very dry place in California. Do you know where California is? Yeah, it's on the west part of the United States. It's a very long state with a lot of different creatures that live there. And our story begins when this creature and a lot of its friends are just waking up from a very long rest. (sighs) Ralph let out a ginormous yawn and moved his mouth very large. He had two big teeth that needed to be stretched as he yawned and Boy, did that feel good. Oh, wow. It is so good to wake up. Is everybody else up? Hello? 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 His voice echoed underground in their den. Yeah, so they just woke up from a very long rest. Uh, There's a name for that. Do you know what that name is? When a creature falls asleep and takes a rest, maybe during winter. Uh, Yeah, hibernation! Good job! Yeah, hibernation is a very cool thing where animals take a nice long rest during winter when food and water is, is not very available. It's a good way for them to slow down their bodies so that they don't need to keep eating. Because sometimes there can be certain seasons where an animal has a really hard time finding their food. And so hibernation helps slow down their body into slow motion. And then they don't need to eat for a very long time. Well, Ralph was just waking up. And as his voice echoed in their den, he realized that he was the only one awake. Oh, man. I'm the first one up out of the great rest. Oh. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Ralph was a young engineer who loved to build things. Do you like to build things? Yeah, that means you might be an engineer one day. Engineers are really good at making buildings or building projects. And yeah, it all starts with either like Legos, magnetiles, or blocks. And that is how... Ralph began as Ralph realized that there was going to be a while before the rest of his family and friends woke up from the great rest. He realized that he needed to go find some toys, something to do. As he slithered over to the playroom, he found some blocks and some Legos and magnetiles and started building the most epic city ever. This is going to be awesome. And oh, man. It just got knocked over. 
his whole creation had been knocked over because the ground started to shake. As Ralph was rolling around, he had a hard time because he couldn't hold on to anything because he didn't have any hands or legs. But finally, the shaking stopped. What in the world was that? As Ralph looked around, he realized that his family and friends were starting to wake up. I think that shaking ended their great rest. Ralph! Oh! Was that you? What were you doing? The whole ground was shaking, said one of his uncles. Uh, it, w- it wasn't me, said Ralph. Uh, I was building something over here and the ground started shaking and then, I don't know. It wasn't me though. I'm not ready to wake up, said his uncle. I think his uncle was a little grouchy. <laughs> well, up above the ground, there was a whole bunch of noise. Beeping, like beep, 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 beep. But Ralph and his family, they don't have ears. They can't hear. They can only feel all the vibrations in the ground. Wait a second. There's all these clues coming in. I can't even keep track of them. Have you noticed some of the clues about what Ralph might be? And just then, the ground started to shake even more. Ralph and his whole family and friends were now all awake, very afraid. The whole ground was shaking. The ceiling was starting to fall in. Because remember, they're in a den underground. All the dirt was starting to cave in. Guys, we got to get out of here. I think our den is about to cave in, shouted Ralph. As Ralph started to slither around and look for a way out, there was a skinny path out, but... Uh, I can't make it, said Ralph. You see, Ralph's head was a lot wider than the rest of his skinny body. He couldn't fit out of this hole. What in the world are they going to do? We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Atticus, who's turning five years old. He loves math and playing his kendama, and he loves his sister's winter and indigo and his baby brother, Jet. Wow, Atticus, I'm so excited that today is your special day and you got to celebrate it on the show. I hope it's the best birthday ever. Happy birthday, Atticus. Atticus. 